Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I am your blocks guide, Finn. Now, I know you're probably mad at me because Krona isn't here. But listen, it's not my fault, okay? It's his fault. He decided not to show up, alright? So forget about him and let's start the video. Alright, so today, what we're going to be playing is some legend piece that just released not too long ago. And it, we're just going to do a quick little starter guide on it. Um, just how to get your levels up faster and everything like that. So let's just get started with the video. Alright, so we're finally in the game, and yes, I am inside of, um, one of my friend's accounts right now. He just let me use his other account because it wasn't even a high level. So, we're just gonna get started with the starter guide. Alright, so basically what you want to do is you want to head to this guy over here. He's right next to the dock where the green guy is, whatever, Jingmabobber. Alright, so we're gonna head over to the quest guy over here. And then we're going to be like, oh yeah, let's accept that. And then we're just going to fight some things, because why not? Alright, we're just going to piece up these bandits. We'll go crazy for a little bit. Just until level 25, I think. So, I don't really don't want to talk the whole time. So, I'm just going to speed up the video. And you guys can just keep watching. Alright. And as you can see... We went up levels like crazy. We went from 1 all the way to 6 in just one quest. And now you're probably wondering like, wow, how did you go up that much? Now, for some reason, in this game, the amount of HP you get is literally crazy. And I don't know why. But I just noticed, why not just get like a katana or something? Because like, why not? So we're just going to go to the menu. We're going to go to codes. And I'm putting some codes here. I'm going to leave all the codes in the description. So go check out this, the description for some codes. Alright, so our first code here is going to be legend. And as you can see, success. And then if I close here, $260 now and three gems. Alright, now we're going to go into the next code. The beta. It's called beta. And then we just got some more gems. And we're just going to keep putting all these codes in. Remember, I'll put all these codes into the description. Alright, so I just put in all the codes, so you should get about $300k and 10 gems. Then why the guy just tried to kill me when I'm... Alright, all right, so he's being a bum. We're going to want to go buy a, get a katana, my fault. Almost a good katana. Alright, but we're going to buy that katana for 5k. And now we're going to have that slash move, so we're going to go into stats. And then we're going to put 10 points into our sword. Just like that. And now, we have our slash move. Alright. And I am now stuck. Um. Um. Alright, uh, game? Hello? Alright, well, for some reason, I was good with the katana. I, I don't know why I was like that. But, we got the katana. Katana. I see. I keep saying good tana. I don't know why I keep saying good tana. Good tana. But, um, so I got the katana, and it seems like all my moves are bugged. Like, I, I, I can't do anything. Like, I can't even Q-dash or nothing. So, that's pretty nice. Just, I, just heads up, this game is definitely really buggy. There's a lot of bugs. The hitboxes, they kind of suck. But the game in general, it's it's a pretty well-made, decent. It's decently well-made, all right? You got to give it props. Like, the, the games, the fruits, they, they look good, all right, for a game that's in beta right now. Um, but let me just leave and rejoin real quick. Alright, so <laughs> I joined up inside of a new server. Um, let's hope I don't get glitched again. I really hope I don't. Alright, but we're gonna ha all we're gonna do is we're gonna grind until I believe level 25 where we could then do, uh, the next quest. So do exactly what I did, um, beforehand and just grind to level 25, which shouldn't take long at all. And then you don't want to talk to that person over there. So I'm just skip it. Alright, so I just tried using the Z-move again. Do not use the Z-move, alright? Do not do it. Still get the katana, but do not use the Z-move, Z -move, alright? Alright, well, I'm not level 25, but it's whatever, alright? I'm not level 25. But still, alright, so basically what you want to do is, you're want to you're going to want to keep fine farming this boss until 125. And then you're going to go to the island straight ahead over there. I think, yep, over there. And just keep climbing up the stairs, or climbing up the mountain until you see the boss quest, which will be the requirement of level 125, alright? So what you want to do there is you're just going to farm that boss until 
uh, you need the next level for the other boss on the other island. So, I don't recommend you keep farming these, uh, these little bosses, because, you know, all the map, all, all the islands have these bosses that you gotta do before you actually get to the boss. So, what I recommend is, you defeat all the bandits here first, while going to level 20, and then after you're level 20, you keep farming this boss until 125, go to that boss, do the same thing until you can go to the next boss on the other island. Um, I'll actually go to the boss, I'll go to the islands right now, uh, just so I can show you guys. Alright, so as you see, I had to hop on my main, because I was not about to go traveling without my light, of course, because it would take way too long. Alright, but as I said, when I was talking about how you have to grind until you're able to go to the new boss for each island, I meant that, alright, because doing all the, coming here then doing the marines, it's just going to take too long. So, just grind to level 125, you get enough XP from the quest from that. So you want to take that quest right there. You want to go into this room over here. Bam, there's the boss. You're going to kill him. Bam, I one shot. All right. A lot of the moves one shot, by the way, when you get your fruit. So most moves are definitely going to one shot. Whether you have sand, I I would recommend sand for a starter fruit. Just because the, that V move for sand and one shots. All right, then after here, you're going to want to grind to, I think, level 175. And then you're going to come to Monkey's Island. And you want to click this quest right here. Make sure I'm right. Yeah, 175. If you want to grind to 175, you can come here, kill this thing, blah, 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 blah. And then, so on forward, you're going to find the next island that you have to go to, which would be level 200 island, which is the snow island, I think, which is right over here, and I almost passed it. So you want to come to this island right here, the snow island, level 250 plus. Whoa. I think it's level 200 island somewhere. Hold on. Right, I think the level 200. Yeah, level 2. Alright, so never mind. Not the snow island. You want to come to the desert island over here. I'm trying to make the video as fast as possible because it is like almost 12 p.m. It's 11:46 currently. Alright, so I'm making this video as fast as possible. Alright, so like like I said again, don't farm these bandits. It's just a waste of your time. The fastest way to get to max is just going to be doing the boss quest. So you're going to want to farm at the monkeys, at the what is it? I don't even remember Monkey Island, whatever. You're gonna want to farm there till 225. Then you could fight the Sand Pirate, and then you could go on to the next island, which is the Snow Island. Like I said again, skip this. You don't want to go over there. All right. Now we just gotta find the boss for the Yeti. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Yeah, defeat one Snow Beast. He is, he's literally inside of the cave right there. It's, really, it's not hard to miss him, alright? You're gonna blah, blah, blah. One shot. Bam. You're done. You're gonna keep farming that. Like I said, farm the desert island until 275. Now, I'm not really doing a whole, like, map tour right now. Like, because all the, all the islands are actually, like, really close to each other. It's really not hard to get to them. From Spawn Island... You literally just go behind Spawn Island, and then that would be the the island you need to get to for 222. What was it? I forgot what it was. I think it was 275. Yeah, 275. All right, so you're gonna grind um the desert, desert island to 275. All right, just remember that. And that's gonna be the same for literally every single island. Skip the little NPCs. We don't care about them. They're a bunch of nobodies. Just farm until you're able to get to the next boss on the other island, alright? Alright, so after that 275, you're literally gonna do the same thing. Forget these bums, okay? Forget them. Nobody cares about them. Alright. Alright, but here's the quest right here. You're gonna talk to this guy. He's gonna give you that blah 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 quest type junk. Yeah. Then you're gonna do that. And then, again, farm until you're able to get to the next boss island remember so after the snow island you come here which would be a level requirement of oh too far which would be a level requirement of 325 all right so you're gonna come here bubble it do that boss um what's your level 325 and then you go to the final island which is the island with the big trees over there you just want to defeat the boss again. Alright, so you just grab the quest right here, blah, blah, blah. And then 
I literally just kept farming here until I was max. Um, you could do CB Island, which is the island with the four rocks. Um, but yeah, this is literally just what I did to get to my level in about 30 minutes or so. There may be a faster way, I don't know. But if you like the video, give the video a like, of course. Turn on those notifications so you know whenever we post. And hit that subscribe button, it help out a lot. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video.